ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, subscribers and non-subscribers, employers and employees, <laughs> <laughs> students and pupils, sponsors and beneficiaries, <laughs> and the layer. Welcome to the African Creative. Teachers and students. <laughs> hairdressers <laughs> and hairdressers. <laughs> So my name is Esther Amayo. Um, I'm Kenyan, <laughs> proud Kenyan, and uh, I graduated two years ago with a bachelor's in nutrition and dietetics. So I am a registered nutritionist, clinical nutritionist, certified, <laughs> yes, nutritionist. And uh, apart from that, I am a crochet designer. I crochet, design a few samples and bring them to life. Crochet is basically the art of using your hands and a crochet hook to make garments with yarn. So you can make a number of things, sweaters, scarves, uh, Beanie hats, you know, all those things you can make with crochet. And uh, I'm also doing content creation on YouTube. I do lifestyle, but the future of my channel is on travel content, mostly travel content. Apart from that, I'm also a hairdresser. I make hair from time to time, but I don't own a salon. I go uh, to people's homes and make their hair. Yeah. After school, um, I had a break. So on that break, uh, I was watching YouTube from time to time, and then I came across crochet. Then I realized it's something I'd ever done before when I was young, because I saw my mom doing something of the sort. Then I was like, you know, I can do this to pass time. So that's how I started, and with time I fell in love. So each and every day I learn something new on crochet, I learn new projects, I learn new skills. And after starting crochet, I decided to just share about my life and also share crochet for people who want to know how to crochet. And for the hairdressing, it's something that I just realized I knew how to do. I always make my own hair. For now, it's because I've removed it, but I always make my own hair. So, of course, my name is Esther. Um, I was born 26 years ago. <laughs> I know I don't look like I'm 26, but yes, 26 years ago. Everyone gets shocked when I tell them because I look much more younger, which is good, which what is good. What do you good. think makes you look younger? It's because I have a small body, <laughs> probably. <laughs> About the face, I don't know if it looks older <laughs> or younger. <laughs> yeah, so I was born 26 years ago in Nairobi. I've grown up in Nairobi. Um, I have schooled in so many schools, especially in primary school. It's like every year I went to a different school <laughs> yeah but uh, in high school I went to one school I went to Laser Hill Academy mm -hmm. then after there I went to Mount Kenya University that's where I did my bachelor's in nutrition that's where I finished then I did my internship in one of the level five hospitals here in Nairobi and uh, we are four I'm the second born in a family of four children yeah, my young, the youngest one is going to class 8, I think. Is it next month or uh, next term? The calendar yeah. changed. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, it's confusing. So the next term she's going to class 8. I think the generation of our parents, they focus mostly on school. If it's not anything to do with school, they don't really pick it up. And I also think our parents were busy people, so they don't have that time to spend time and notice what you are capable of. So growing up, uh, it was just a normal childhood. Um, we were able to go to school, get all the necessary needs. But in terms of creativity, this is something I realized later in life. 
especially when I was finishing campus, though I wish I would have realized it earlier. <laughs> yeah, but still it is not too late to do what I can. So uh, for the help, of course, I will need help from maybe finance or even just uh, support uh, telling you, encouraging you on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, the support hasn't been that much, but at least as for noticing, they can notice that you know you have a skill, it's helping you, it's keeping you busy. At least you're not doing something that um, might put you in danger or anything of that sort. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the yeah, to to eat and it's something I can do even without anyone telling me. I don't feel like it's a job. I feel like I enjoy it while doing it. And I realized that in 2019 during my internship because I was just doing a couple of things. And I realized, like I have that passion of continuing to learn. Yeah, so that's what I keep doing every day. Actually, every day I make sure I crochet something and finish from start to finish. Mm -hmm. And as for YouTube, I realized just watching YouTube and it's something I can also do. Why don't I also, you know, get into it yeah. and do something and showcase. Maybe some, someone can learn something from my channel, you know, mm -hmm. and not necessarily must you have the equipment, camera and all those things. You just start with where you're comfortable with and what you have. And it's something anyone can do. No one will come and remove you from there. So <laughs> that's a plus. Yeah. yeah. It's something I do from the heart. I did not actually see it as a business when I was starting. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, with time people see what you're making and they're like, eh, I also like something like that, you know? So you, you start selling them. And inspiration, Pinterest is my inspiration. <laughs> I go there most of the time. But since I have grown in crocheting, sometimes I can just see what someone is wearing, which is not crocheting. I'm like, hmm, I can make that. Or I see maybe a picture and I'm like, I can try and maneuver my way around making that. So it's what I see on Pinterest and also what I see outside. Even nature can also be an inspiration because I can crochet something to do with nature as well. Yeah, so it's all over the place. Inspiration is all over. <laughs> Are your design colorful or it depends? Colorful when you say you started way back. I remember uh, way back most of the crochets that were being done were Bitamba. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every time you tell someone you're crocheting, that's the first thing that comes to their mind. But nowadays, I don't even see them. And personally, I don't like them. <laughs> I think we are coming into a modern way of crocheting. The ones for the seats were old. <laughs> we are trying to come up with new, new things, yeah. apart from just the ones for chairs. As for support, not really. Maybe in terms of encouragement and people. No, I'm being honest. <laughs> Maybe in terms of encouragement, people who always push you to to do what you're doing. I think that's one of the best forms of support. If someone is cheering you on to keep doing what you're doing, and apart from myself believing in myself someone is there to believe in you so that I think that is enough support uh, with time we can get other forms of support in terms of maybe finance or yarn itself yeah, yeah and even as for YouTube maybe um, better quality yeah. equipment you know yeah but before we get there we can still just work with what we have and if support is there it's welcome to come The least favorite was when doing internship, get to see people dying. 
so that is one of the least favorable moments I have had in what I have been doing and uh, the most favorable so let me be honest with you before joining campus I had three options okay so the first one was travel and tourism the second was nutrition and the third was journalism so my passion was in travel that's why even as I'm telling you where my future for the YouTube channel will be will be in travel but um, it's like my parents didn't want me to do travel because they gave me reasons like you'll tarmac too much, you won't get married, you'll be traveling a lot. So <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, well, since I'm not the one paying school fees uh, and they were in for nutrition, I was like, you know, let me just do it because in high school I loved biology and geography. So I was like, since there's biology, let me just Did go and do it. Yes. <laughs> I passed in biology, I failed in chemistry, but I passed in chemistry while in campus, yeah. which is really shocking. <laughs> yeah, so nutrition was my second option, but my passion is in travel. Yeah, so in hospital, uh, basically we help people with their meal plans, how you're supposed to eat with certain conditions. So you're based in hospitals and especially in the wards where you can see people on a regular basis. Yeah. So that's why I got my least favorable experience, seeing people just pass mm -hmm. and not getting well. Yes, and my most memorable experience, still in the nutrition, in the nutrition field, was seeing children come in very sick and going home very active and healthy. That is a very amazing experience. <laughs> yeah, and in these other fields, I think for the health sector is what has extreme, the extreme and also the lowest. And in creativity, in crochet and YouTube, I'm yet to get my most favorable experience. Yeah. But I think my worst is sometimes while doing YouTube, um, you work so hard, you create content, but then no one views, or you get like two views, and then in a kushukisha morale. But uh, that's something we can deal with and keep pushing. Well, I have come across opportunities. They may not be so big, mm -hmm. but I think through these opportunities is where you got to find me, <laughs> which is a good thing. And uh, basically getting to meet thing with them is good opportunity because you get to expand your viewership. So I guess that is something I can say about opportunities I've gotten for now. <laughs> Are you a brand ambassador? For who? <laughs> for myself, <laughs> for gifted. <laughs> yeah. uh, have you worked with any brands so far? Um, any specific brand that you look forward to working with and stuff? Not yet. I've not worked with any brand so far. Mm -hmm. But I will be open to some if it's in the line of what I'm doing. Yes, what I, I do is what's keeping me going right now. Mm -hmm. Hairdressing and crocheting. That's what is keeping me going. And also I hope YouTube to also come into the picture as well with time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. all of the above. I'm passionate, I'm talented, I am skilled and I am hardworking. I'm talented as you can see. Okay. And I am skilled because some things you need. What is a skill actually? I 
I think it's a plus because as a youth you are energetic, you are open to trying out many things, as many as possible. You're not limited to to one thing. So it's good to just uh, broaden your horizons and work with with people. And in terms of content creation, I have, I have, I've also been where people are creating content, not necessarily uh, being in front of the camera, but just seeing what they do. And uh, working with them helps you learn, helps you see things you didn't see, helps you uh, change on a few things if you're making mistakes, and you just generally learn from them. Yeah. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, my honor, honor, my honor. Honor. Hate <laughs> <laughs> your silence. It's my, it's my honor to uh, introduce to you uh, the lady herself. Just some random question. Your man trained life. Nini na could drive on a day-to-day -day basis to. Um, do all it is that you do. You can achieve anything if you believe in yourself. I think that is the first thing of attaining anything. It's for Jamina, like Akuna Venutamik. So, would you say in this point in time you have done everything that you opted to do? Not yet. I've not started traveling. That is where I want to, <laughs> <laughs> to focus on. Yeah. Yes. But most